Hey internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, please never call me Nathaniel, and welcome back to Rogue Tower. Uh, really appreciate support so far on the first episode. I uh, did enjoy it quite a lot, and I'm pretty hyped. Uh, last time we were able to afford getting draw frequency, which means we're going to get more upgrades more often. Also super hyped, once we unlock 21 more cards, we can get draw frequency too, which allows us to pick up a new card every round. That's kind of what I was missing so far. So the fact that that's like in the cards in the future is, is pretty hype. Um, do we continue with single defense? Let's try, let's try double defense again. Now that we've got some decent upgrades. Also learned that uh, mana is important if we're gonna do mana based things. Probably anyone could have told me that, but you know how it is. Uh, we're gonna start with this. Can one? I mean, you'd get so much gold. It's it's about the gold, guys. Let's go this way. Get wrecked. Okay. Uh, let's put one here. Expand there. Let's put one there as well, and here. Good stuff. Um, bleed them dry. No. We could go mana bolts. Alternatively, we could go mana siphon for the future. Wait, let's not build them yet. Let's wait until we actually have a use case for them, but I think very early on that's going to be pretty good. Keep building out now this way. One there, one there. Also got some good tips on uh, the last video. Ooh. Um, uses mana to slow nearby enemies. I see two spots that would be pretty good for those. Right there and right there. We don't have quite enough yet. But as soon as we do... Oh no. We got a leak. Whew. Okay, we had one leak. Still can't afford it, huh? Slow, slow. Oh wow, we're getting a lot of leaks here. Okay, um... Let's do one of these numbers and let's get a tower. Let's go this way. Here, that can get both sides pretty well. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose right here probably. We get very close. Uh, let's go this way. And there we are. Okay. So not great. Not great. I think I need to keep practicing on the lower levels, but man, those like multi, multi ones are tough. Okay, what do we have? We're at uh, 112. So we can get some more 25 XP cards. Here's a 20. Twenty-five, twenty-five. 
We can do one more 25. Thermal arcing. Okay, we only need 17 more to get more cards. Um, let's try a single again. Okay. I'm gonna put one here, because isn't this every level adjacent towers, depending at gold equal to the current level. Let's put one here. And one here. Uh, expand again. One here. Good stuff. Enemies drop plus two gold. They also do more damage. Generates mana through the magic of the market. Um... Hmm. We could try Tesla coils. We've never really tried them before. What does it do? Mana use once per shot. 60 shots per second. Let's see what happens. What if we like literally made one Tesla coil to rule them all? And just see what happened. We're just experimenting guys, just experimenting. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Let's go all in on these Tesla coils. Do something wild. I'm also thinking about putting one here that's just focused on like armor. Also, we need to turn down the music a bit. There we are. Cool, that's a little bit more balanced. Game likes to pump the tunes. And I'm just not ready for it. Zap, zap, zap. Okay, so we needed a second Tesla coil literally to take care of armor. So you right now, you're gonna do whoever has the most armor. And you're just gonna kill everything with health. Test the coils, gain poison damage. Um, hmm. Let's do extra range. Really want a second Tesla coil. This is not bad. We need to get another one that's like just focused on shields. This does absolutely nothing against our. Oh, this is really armor though. So if things don't have shields, like this will just annihilate them. I think we want to have another Tesla coil here. And we want to focus this one on shields. So this eliminates all shields, this eliminates all health. We need one for armor as well. Or, you know, your armor. You're, you're attacking for armor. But a third Tesla coil, like right here, that just does... Um, This is, 
destroys health. Uh, every kill generates mana, but enemies also gain movement speed. Um, do we go crit chance? Let's do crit chance. What's your crit chance? 13% because you're level 13. That's pretty good. So we're going to build the third one right here. This one's going to be our armor focused one. This is our shield focused one. Two per shot, four per shot. We might need to get uh, energy siphons at some point too. Yeah, that third Tesla coil is going to be really important. leaks there uh, keep going you're gonna be shield no wait we already have shield we need armor damage whoopsies so we'll upgrade you as soon as possible with armor you need shield Okay, to strip off their armor pretty well. Okay, that's fantastic. Mana gain is still a little bit of a problem, though. We can keep adding to your armor. So you're doing, you're level nine, you're level three. We need you up. We need you to be doing a lot more damage to shields. Shield. Oh yeah, we're mowing down shields here really well now. Or uh, armor, I should say. Only this guy made it through with any left intact. Um, keep it rolling. This seems like a very winning strategy. Three Tesla coils, each with a particular focus. I'm mostly wondering if we just sell these guys. I don't know that we're going to need them. Okay, this is where it's going to get rough. We're going to need to upgrade this guy as quickly as possible for armor killing because they have lots of armor coming up. They are slow, though. Getting slow out of the Tesla coils would also be really good. Got it. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get through all of theirs, but you should be able to get through a lot of it. Shield. 
Oh wow. Actually gets rid of a surprising amount of it. Wow. Actually mowed him down really well. Crazy. Okay, so we can have you then work on the most shield. And then the most health. Or then near death. Pick things off. Uh, next up is shield for you, I think. Oh no. It's uh, armor for you again. Get burn damage, get poison damage. I think we want the siphons. We just want a couple of them. There we go. That should be enough. Five mana per second, I think, is fine. And now we wait for the squad to get here. Ugh. These Tesla coils are good. Let's give you more shield damage. We're almost all to level 13. Crits though. You're 11, you're 11. Let's give you armor. Give you shield. Got him. Man, these things are super loud. There we are. That's a little bit better. Got him. This guy should not be too bad. The only issue is if he spawns things that also have a ton of... Um, a ton of armor. That's a little bit problematic. Got him. So they all have, oh no, they don't have armor. They were, I don't know, something hastened or something. I don't know, but they'll die here. Everything's so far away. Come back. He's only give one. Well, next guess will be 15. I don't know why it's 50. Is it 15 because of the level of the thing? I don't know. 20 per minute, 60 per minute. Extra range on the Tesla coils would also be really good. But we have enough mana right now to support them, so that's the good news. You can now increase your health damage. Then we'll increase the armor damage from him next. Got it. Increase the shield damage from him next. Got him. Shield. 456, 266, and 342. Man, this one's just like crazy. 
24 damage multiplier. It's because of our upgrade. It's got plus one to base damage, or minus one to base damage. And their crit chance goes up every time too, which is really good. Hey, look at that, he just mows through their armor. That's crazy. Poison damage would not be bad on these ones as well. Also wondering just about like adding some of these to these houses, but I don't know. Wow. Got him. Test the coils, gain plus one damage to health. Um What if we do Tesla gains poison? Now nah, we'll do power surge. Oh, there's an Oogie. Oogie is scary. Uh, oh crap. Okay, so we're going to build a whole bunch of towers and we're going to do the same thing. Most armor, most shield, most health. Build one here as well. Most armor, most shield, most health. And we're going to build one. Okay. Yeah, Ugi might just kill us. I don't know. It depends on how much damage we're going to do to him. I can't, I don't see, yeah, I can't see health numbers. You know what? Let's swap these. Let's go health. Shield, armor. Health, shield, armor. Health, shield, armor. How, wait. How, why aren't you attacking Ugi? <laughs> Crap. Okay, here we go. We'll see how it does. Not looking great. Get some crits. And we're gonna kill all these things, which is, I guess, good. We need you to be more health damaging. You to be more health damaging. You to be more health damaging. Even more health damaging. And then we gotta pray for mercy. Okay, Oogie, you gotta die. Oh no. Not looking good. We got him over halfway, but it's not going to be enough. How much damage does Ugi do? He kills us. Ah! 105 XP. Woo, that's rough. Okay, so that worked except for Ugi. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do some more upgrades. Let's go with uh, anything that's 25 still. 25. 30, 30, 25, 30, 16 more cards. Um, I guess we could also do some of these other ones. Because they immediately go into five XP ones. So we could do that. Let's do the uh, how much do we have? 97. Let's do flamethrower. 5, 5, 10, 10, 15. 
And let's look at Tesla coils. What do we have? Static permutation, one damage to shields, additional damage to shields and poison. To shields, 10% crit chance, additional damage to shields, permanently, permanently one damage to shields. Oh. Oh, that's that's permanent. I was not aware. Okay, so once we get the uh, unlocking 10 more cards, we'll do that. All right, let's try a triple defense. I don't know. It's hard. We just stack a bunch of uh, archery things at the beginning, maybe, and then we're fine. So, like, we put one here, put one here, put one here, maybe two there. Let's expand here first. Put one here, expand here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go all in on ballistas here. Let's go one there. Okay, we gotta start getting pacing a little bit better too. Three, three. Let's expand this one. Got him. Okay. All ballistas increase their range. Seems really good. Let's expand this one again. there as soon as we have money. The fact we get plus two per kill is also really good. Okay, now we're going to expand this one. And as soon as we can... Oh, dang. We got one. One, two, three. One, two, one. Uh, even more range? Seems great. Let's expand to you again. So this is three, two, one. So now it's four. Ouch. Just getting wrecked by these guys. Let's expand you again. Put one up top. one here as soon as we can good stuff okay that got a little bit better and the nice thing is is that anything we do here is going to break a record so we'll get a lot of xp uh going to continue to do that Um, next one can go here. Oh, okay. So we still got, we still got 216 experience. That's pretty good. Be careful which direction you expand in. Very clear. Thank you, game. Um, 15. Okay, that's pretty well upgraded now. I think we can start getting some of these 30s. Or we do another 50 with a bunch of 10s. That's probably the right thing to do. Or a bunch of 5s. 10, 10, 15, 15. So what are we at now? Two more. Only need two more. So let's do a couple of 30s. Uh, let's go 30, 30. And how much do we need? 100. Okay, we'll save this for then. Let's go back to double defense. I think we can increase this level a lot here. Priorities matter, but their order doesn't. Uh, okay. Let's start with one, two, three, four. Expand. 
Boom. Expand. Boom. Uh, ballistas deal more damage. We can also put one there. I also put one there. Then we can increase on this side next. Let's get them all like level three with health. All these close in ones. And then as we go farther out, we will start getting more like armor. Most armor. Ballistas deal bleed damage. Love it. Um, what are you? I increased your uh, that level as well. Let's increase this way. Let's put you here. We want you to be most armor. We just gotta hope. Okay, we got some we got some extra damage there. Build this out. Okay. You're gonna be shield man. Most shield. Got him. Love it. Ballistas deal more damage to armor. That's great. So you are shields. Let's go expand this way. I want to build another one out here. With love plus shield damage. Okay. Oops. Uh, I guess it's fine. We'll still put you as armor. This quarter seems okay. It was seeming really good. Oof. Tower got hit. But we reached level eight, which is farther than we got before. Uh, Ballista's deals shield damage. Love it. This is very scary. Uh oh. Ouch. I don't even know if we can get through these guys. Okay, let's try expanding here. Oh my gosh. Segmenting again. Oof. We might need some more permanent upgrades if we're gonna be able to take on this scale of dudes. Okay, we got to level 10. That's better. Uh, not great, though. But we have enough to get our last... Um, oh, we have our last big upgrade here. Then we want gold, maybe treasury. Oh my gosh. And you have so many treasuries. Uh, mana capacity is probably not such a big deal. Fortifications not as big of a deal. We probably want to start saving up now for like permanent improvements. So that's what we'll do. We'll save up for the permanent improvements now. Let's go back to. Oh, we'll finish this uh, video off with another single to defense. Don't use one type of tower; they get more expensive. I'm very well aware now. Thank you, game. Put one there. Bah. 
Um, kill them with fire. Poison sprayer. Let's do an early banditry. Let's go one. Uh, I don't think this is adjacent. Well, we can test. Okay, so it doesn't work. We can demolish that one. Good stuff. Um, let's do plus one range. Plus one range. I'm going to do this early, and then we need to get mana regeneration. That's our next priority. It's so much extra damage if we can get it. Plus to shields. So far it's not awful. You're somehow surviving. Let's go sorcery. I'm going to keep extending this side out and maybe this side as well. Uh, extra damage. Can put one there. This is looking okay. Also would not mind one right here. Maybe one here too. I'm going to expand, oh my gosh, uh, a medium amount of mana and gain plus three damage. I'm going to do straight up damage onto armor first. We're going to go this way. We're going to build this one here. Oof. Take two mana per shot. But we are killing things. That's the good sign. Uh, deal. Hmm. What if we added slow? Maybe, you know what, let's do an extra health. This is, I mean, this is kind of working. We have no specialization, just generally doing a lot of damage, but maybe that's what we need to do. I'm going to build out this section next. Um... that one 
Okay, we're gonna need mana regeneration again. Just too many things firing. Lifesteal would be good. The other option is just straight up increasing the per second. Um, yeah, lifesteal. Let's keep expanding here. It's helping a bit. But we're still struggling to maintain mana. Now it's not too bad. Question is, are we going to be able to kill him? I think so. Now we're looking okay. Okay, we got it back, but man, that was really tough. Uh, regenerate mana through the power of the market. Yes. Okay, now we should have enough mana regeneration. Let's do this one. Yeah, now we're good, now we're good. We can probably upgrade the ballistas again with more base damage even. to shields expand this one out again are there any other threes anywhere that I'm not seeing I think I've got all the threes one two oh no there's one up here It's looking really good. Like, it's obviously not the most sophisticated setup. But the base damage is so high, and the extra, like, card based stats are so good. I knew that, like, once we got to the point where we were getting cards every time, like, that's when you start to really see the game get interesting. You can really start to get, like, a lot of different kinds of builds ro rolling super hard when you're only getting one card every, like, four rounds. All right, we should get a clean finish here. Okay. Let's gain range for all ballistas again. And let's expand one of you out. Now, I, I'm kind of thinking it'd be good to start to specialize them, but I'm just wondering if the base damage is high enough that it's, like, fine to let them level up as they want. Well, how high are you? You're two. Okay. All right, so let's start Let's start specializing. We're going to spec... Oh, Oogie. Oogie's going to be a problem. I don't think we have the good way. I don't think we have a good way to kill him. Even if like everybody concentrating on him, maybe, maybe there's a way. Maybe. I mean, he's almost dead.
then it becomes a question of okay that was that was actually pretty good oh no oh that's right because we get extra damage per hit because of the uh because of the um bandit that we took earlier Okay, so let's go uh, maximum damage to health. Try this again. I feel like we're so close to getting there, but just barely off having a really solid run. Okay, so we're going to do this. And then we're going to see what we get. Is mortars a thing? Hmm. Launch explosive shells over long distances versus just straight up poison. Try this poison sprayer. What's the range? And does it hit everybody? Let's just see what happens. Interesting. Maximum poison per second to higher. That seems really good. Uh, let's get another poison sprayer up top. Um, Tesla coil up top here would be really good at eliminating shields. So this is our, this is our shield, get rid of her. And this is health. Poison enemies also slows by 5% of poison gain. Seems really good. This is also really good though. Let's do the slow. We just need to find a way to get rid of uh, shields. We're not shields, armor. Guess we can do that with archers. Most armor. Um, more of that. You also want poison early is the only thing. I wonder if moving this one over there would make a lot more sense. Poison enemies take additional shield damage from all attacks. Let's do that. Let's remove you. I don't want to demolish you though. Most health. Let's expand here. Okay, we're gonna need mana regeneration as well.
Okay. Uh, all poison sprayers gain damage to armor. That's interesting. Okay, we'll take it for now. I'm going to increase here again. I hope this is going to be good enough. Man, these splits are rough. We need mana regeneration, though. That's, like, biggest gap right now. Now we should be okay. Let's expand here. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. How much poison? 100% poison? Okay. Poison sprayers damage armor. Yes. Let's expand here. Kind of like the idea of a poison sprayer up here as well. This will be our last poison sprayer. Just to like stack it up on them up here. I need another mana siphon. That's crazy. Just to keep up. Tesla coils gain damage to armor. Tesla coils also do poison damage. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's expand you. I'm also thinking we can put a Tesla coil right here as well. Focus it on armor and just kind of burn them down. And there. Here's hoping these guys can do enough damage. Okay, wasn't great. Um, all poison sprayers have more damage to armor. Let's build another mana siphon here. And here. Maybe. There we go. Okay, that guy's gonna... This guy's gonna make it. This one's not. He'll die to the turrets, but we're still good. We still have one. More poison damage. We can expand you. Yeah, this is looking much better but in terms of mana. I think we've kind of reached equilibrium. We just want to now increase and improve the ones that we have. Uh, 
Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. Woo! Uh, all Tesla coils. Plus one damage to shields. We just kind of toss these guys around. I mean, why not? Just put them all over the place. They're super cheap. I wish I could swap these two though. They are getting pretty wrecked now. We'll have to see how Mr. Uh, Big Man does himself. That's coming up, I think, in the next wave he appears. But they're burning through these guys at a pretty good speed right now. Keep putting a bunch of these out as well. Good stuff. Solid. Uh, I wouldn't mind another poison sprayer like right here-ish as well, just to get a third one in and really just melt them with poison. Forty-eight. I want all of them to be at least at level five, maybe level six in terms of health damage. All right, Oogie, this is the time. We're going to find out whether we do enough damage to you. Okay, with all of them on Oogie, we are running low on mana. Let's build uh, some more siphons. I mean, his poison's really high. Question is, do we kill him? It's going very slowly. I thought we had him. Yeah, the problem was is that the poison damage per second wasn't high enough. Uh, okay. But we have enough to make our uh, Ballista Towers better again. So that's pretty good. And with that, we'll come back later. I'll look at some uh, different things on the Discord um, about different types of builds, and we'll try some different kinds of builds. But for now, this has been Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next one. See you later.